So here we are back with that 1.8 meg top band transmitter and um, Stuart, uh, my friend um, M0SDM, is wanting to uh, really get something going on, on top band. We got a microphone on order, uh, which I think is going to be suitable, but it hasn't arrived yet, so we can't do anything speech-wise. But what we can do is some Morse. Now, I'm qualified for Morse, but I haven't done any since I did my exam. You know, it was one of those things. Um, so I'm, go I'm going to be very rusty at that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, we'll just pop this camera around. What I've got here is an extended coverage transistor radio. This is the um, Matsui one. Uh, it was also known as something else, wasn't it? And I, I wouldn't be surprised if Realistic didn't do one. So at the moment, that is on the frequency we want it to be on. So let's just move this tripod down. And it's sat there doing Morse, which is what the frequency we're going to be on. Uh, it's 1.821 megs so that's top band we've got this set up we've SWR'd it as best we can which is pretty good but all I've got is a prompt me aerial Mr Chip is here oh it's an Ampro an Ampro yes so it's top band aerial from Ampro and that's on a ground spike uh, on a bit of RG58 just outside the window with a bit of a counterpoise as well and I think we've got the ACWR down to about 1.8. Mr. Chippy went up and down on a chair. So we've, we've got the um, power meter there so we can switch between dummy load, uh, which we have been doing, etc. Uh, I've got the little oscilloscope there so we could get the thing exactly on frequency. It's, we've got it on 1.821 and... One point, that's miles out, isn't it, Mr. C? And it's backwards. It seems to be working backwards anyway, so that's something for you to look into. We'll just put a frequency display on the top yeah, yeah. as a separate standalone unit. So there we are with that top band set. I haven't done any further chess than when we did it. We did get a power plug for it, but it needs to have three amp cable rather than six, which we've got. So it's still um, hooked up, soldered onto the back. So we're going to wait for five minutes and we've organised a little net, a uh, little net, a little chat with Stuart in Morse. It's only going to be a matter of uh, minutes and. Um, will tell you what's being said so I'll just put that in a sensible position like that and I'll pause the video until the time M0STM, 2 0 FKC. 2 0 FKC, M0STM, good evening, Mr. C. Are you well? Uh, good evening, Mr. C. Yes, I'm well. You've um, heard my call sign, I've sent it back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He did hear your call sign, he just sent you something back, so I don't know if you heard him. Right, let's go again. Right, he's just he's gonna have another try, so keep your ears peeled.
We're on the right antenna, aren't we? Uh, yeah, Roger that. Um, well, he has been transmitting, so we're just going to look into why and wherefore then. He's next to me. <laughs> I'm on a handheld inside, in the same room as uh, he's the LGF over. Well, you can send, you tell him to send again, and uh, yeah, and we'll listen to him. Yeah, do you do you want to send again, and we'll listen, have a listen and uh, see if we're on frequency. Yeah. <clears throat> go again then. We're hearing you anyway, so if you want to have another go. You want me to transmit now, yeah? No, we'll we'll send. No, sorry, um, uh, geez, I'm just going to send now, over. He obviously didn't hear that. I'm just going to check we're on frequency. Is there STM to use your FKC? So you didn't hear that. Who do? To use your FKC with key down now. One point eight two one one seven. One point eight two one one seven. One point eight two one. That's right. Okay, well, we've tried and. Uh, what frequency did you say you were on? Um, 1.8217. Yes. 1.8217. Uh, 1.8217. 8217. Right, um, 
I don't know if you can uh, shift your frequency, but it, it appears to be on 8.217. I don't know if that would make much difference. It's just spot on as we're going to get it. So we'll go, we'll go once again. Right, just uh, I'll just tell you again. The frequency is one point eight two one one seven. So not not one seven, but one one seven over. Just come in here for the bit. Is it bottom BTT? Yes. Yeah, G zero OGF now on the walkie-talkie over. Okay, so we're moving that. We're, we're using that mobile aerial on a ground spike with a bit of a counterpoise. SWR's all right, but at the end of the day, we're low down here. I know you're only nine miles away. Um, we're doing ten watts, um, and it's not worked out on this occasion, over. No negative, that's uh, fair enough. So uh, anyway, we'll uh, during the course of the week, a microphone will come for this. We can have a further play, see whether it's working on voice, and we'll take it from there, Stuart. But we're heading in the right direction, over. Is there any way you can connect your other antenna up, your 80 metre one, and put that through the tuner, and see if that will tune up? The difference here is we're in a different room to where that aerial comes out, over. So when this building's finished, uh, we, we, we do, do have a proper long wire aerial, but uh, you know we've just got a, a, probably another week of build until they built the walls over. Negative, and I've heard you come through on this extended coverage transistor radio, and that's great. And uh, I've got it on video, and uh, that's great as well. G zero, Jeff. It was full of mistakes, riddled. But uh, okay, was it receiving okay? Yeah, so it, it's um, about the same, exactly the same kind of signal as I get on two meters from you. Um, what you'd call if it was in, uh, you'd call it kind of radio two type of thing on the power you're doing over. Okay. Okay. Well, at least you got something from this evening then. But uh, the uh, the paddle was uh, sticking a bit. Um, I was just at the gap, so it's a bit bigger now. But uh, yeah, it didn't. Uh, what came out wasn't what I was uh, planning on sending. Well, I've got a lot of eyes. <laughs>
got to go, so that's the main thing. Okay, Stuart, thanks for the little test, and we'll catch you in on G0 OJF out. <laughs> G zero Jeff clear. Right. Well, so just to finish the video, so it wasn't to be tonight. Uh, we were able to hear him, as you heard, and he wasn't quite able to hear me. You could hear there was something there, uh, a bit at the back of the box. I think in the meantime we'll get some knobs ordered, so I don't have to turn the thing with pliers. Um, and in the next, um, perhaps tomorrow, the microphone will turn up. Not that that will make it any easier, because it will make it harder, won't it, because it's going to be less range. Uh, we need to sort out a better aerial arrangement than what we're doing today, which is a mobile whip um, for the right frequency. So thanks for watching. hope you got a bit of something from that about um, uh, top band didn't work today. So I'll say thanks very much for watching. Bye.